right now. Yeah, I'm taking my time too for the next three, four years. You get so, J Jacob, you're go you're going to Florida. Uh, who just got up and left there? And in, in, to your right, who got up and left? Oh, that was my mom. And wh why did she walk out and leave? Uh, I don't know. I don't know exactly why why she walked out, but yeah, it, 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 I, don't, I, I don't know. Jacob, we saw her wearing the Alabama sweater there. Uh, what were those conversations like with her about about where you were going to school? Uh, just, just, uh, we, we had a lot of conversations uh, back and forth about where I should uh, go to school at, but it was like God led me and my gut and, and God led me in uh, the direction that my heart uh, desired. So I followed along with it. I didn't want to, I couldn't go with my mind, I wanted to go with my heart. So. From there on out, uh, God let me on. He told me to pick my decision that I wanted, and, that, and that's what I choose. Jacob, you, you referenced on Twitter yesterday, I saw the post about how it would have been very emotional. You talked about how you had been crying the night before, agonizing about this decision. Can you just walk us through how you eventually got to this decision and what this process has been like for you? Uh, this process, it been it been great coming along. We've been recruited for a long time, been a top recruit, uh, been a uh, top priority for a lot of schools. But uh, knowing that uh, I felt out of all schools, I felt more welcome at home and felt like I could make an impact in at the University of Florida. So that was why I felt like that I fit in that and feel like uh, welcome at home and being a family. So I, that's what I like to take my time to. Good evening and welcome to Off the Glass. I am your host, Tony Anthony Macon, and alongside me is Myron Walker. You got it. Tonight's subject, Jacob Copeland. Hey! Recruit for the, well, no, he's a Florida Gator now. Verbal commitment? Verbal commitment. Okay, signed. Um, he made an announcement on ESPN on air that that's where he'll be taking his talents to. He kind of did the whole LeBron James thing. I was gonna say LeBron made that a, a, a hot line. Yeah, he's he's ready, to, and he and that's where he'll be. But that's not what we're you know it's not, that's not the focus. It's not of of this conversation. Uh, today's podcast is more so centered around his mother. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna play video of what happened. Rotate. And Look at this. And roll. Audio issues. We're good. All the time. Alright, so at this point, his mom is packing up. She has on a Tennessee Volunteers hat. She Alabama. has on an Alabama sweatshirt. Kind of Across the table was a Tennessee we'll hat. Rubbish. There was a Alabama hat mm -hmm. sitting there as well. And it was a Florida. I don't know who's, I don't know who's behind him hugging the chubby white chick. But, you know. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. That's like that gotta be a cousin. Oh brother. So, so mom leaves. Why does mom leave? I might that's an uncle. That's an uncle. He doesn't know why she walked out at this yeah. point. God let him. Come on now. Not to say. Could be. It might be, you know. Can't go where your mama want. God let him there. One of the Ten Commandments is honor your mother and your father. I'm just saying. Just saying. Stop the post. Let's go ahead and bow. Now the mother comes back and she does. They hug it out. They do. 
Um, Which mothers and sons will do. They hug it out. But the question is, what's the mother in the wrong? This is what we come down to. Mm -hmm. I mean, you want to go first? You want to take yeah, this first? Oh yeah, real quick. Look, no problem. So, was the mom wrong? Hey, she came up the way she feel. She has put in blood, sweat, and tears for at least 17 years, 17 plus years with this guy. She done took him to 100,000 football practices, games. She done put in financial consideration, pads, jerseys, how many orange slices and bottled waters. How many fundraisers has she done? Does Can she not have any input in where she go? Where he go, I should say? And then he, you picked the Florida Gators. Man, let's just go, let's just go from... Uh, a football standpoint, they not winning no, they not, they not in no college. How many, how many college finals have they been in? How many titles have they have they raised up? Yeah, they, 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 they. I'm talking about in the college play. I'm talking about right now. I'm just saying. I'm talking about recently as since he been as, since he been a, in. As far as a football program, they're not shitty. I mean, I they're put not it like great. This. I put it like this. They're not good. You have you have uh, Florida Gators. You have Alabama. You have Tennessee. Now. I would take the argument. Hey, she, now, two I, seconds. I listen, feel you. Hey. I take the argument that maybe she's Florida. Not, she's not wrong. But maybe Florida Gators, you know, you look at the Florida Gators, and they were 4-7 and seven last year. 4-7. and seven. Alabama is a championship team. Exactly. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. However, Go she green. also had on a Tennessee Volunteer hat. Yeah. And they were 4-8. and eight. So. It was just a hat. I, I was going to, I would have taken the route that she was upset he was going to a losing team. However. She also was rocking with the Tennessee Volunteers as now, well. We don't so, know the motivation. Did you notice that the other family members had Tennessee? They probably had family ties in Tennessee. So it might have been a support system that she was voting for in Tennessee. The probably, thing is, probably, probably, the probably. Best of, is this true? Can you, can you look saying, it up? I'm I mean, just saying no. You're saying probably. I, I, I'm, I'm, saying, I'm hearing you probably. So. I'm just saying. I'm just saying if I were to go from the video, which we all we have, family yeah, yeah, supported it, the Tennessee Volunteers or Alabama. Mm -hmm. And decided to go to Florida. See, my thing is, is I think mom, mom know what goes down in Florida. True. Mom saw mm -hmm. a son that wants to go be a thought. Mm hmm Yep. Son want that sunny weather. Hey. His tour guys was probably some super thick, super chocolate or nah, vanilla. I'm gonna say not 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 Fine. Florida. They probably was white girls, white cheerleaders. Hey. Possibly. Either way, maybe it's a lot of attractive people there. He young and ready. Well, I mean, this is not the popular opinion. Popular opinion: a lot of people were upset that she walked away. I mean, let's focus on that. Can't she, help it. She jumped. A lot of these people probably not parents. She jumped up. Well, I mean, no, no. A lot of these people, some of these people that are upset, whatever, man, are parents. They are. They're upset. But well, I mean, don't you, you don't have to be a parent. When you, you know, could, when you could be in that situation yourself. It's a different, yourself. it's a different feel. I'm just saying. It but is. You, you don't be, have to You be. could be in that situation yourself where you, can. you may be thinking, okay, I was sitting there and mm -hmm. my, I, I, I was, it could be, I mean, all sorts of things True. where you was doing something monumental in your life. Mm-hmm. And the people that you love is sitting, standing next to you. Mm -hmm. They decide to walk off on you. Right. Because they're upset that you made a decision to follow your heart or in this case, God. You, you, That's my problem with that shit. Because the thing was, yo, he didn't make this decision. On I, let me say this, I'm not in his, I'm not in his head. I don't know what his religious background is, but what did he? I mean, he could. Did he, what did, the he guy said, come I mean, to? You? At the end of the day, you know, if you're a believer, you're a believer. If if when you make a decision, typically. A lot of people feel yes that that's you know that God told them to do hey, it. Hey, so I can't know, I can't hey, say that he didn't. As I a, can't say that he didn't either. And you know, <laughs> only atheists would disagree. Only atheists would disagree. All I'm saying is, all of the signs point to he went to Florida. He was filling the campus. Nice weather, nice females. But every campus has that. Alabama has nice campus. They have I mean, a nice, nice climate. They how probably have feel, females, but how they don't have feel, a beach. How would you feel if you made a decision to do something? Uh, you was looking for that family support, and your mom was sitting right I next to that. you. I went through that. I went through that. And life. your mom said, <laughs> "Fuck out of here! <laughs> Fuck out of here! You Doc Rivers looking motherfucker! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here! I'm, I'm, I'm out! I'm out! Because right. you." 
you didn't do what I wanted you to do. Mm -hmm. I've gone through that. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I know that feeling, okay? So, this isn't, this isn't a case of only rebellion because, you know, it is. Because he doesn't feel like... I, I, let me say this. I don't want him to miss out on the opportunity, Mr. Copeland, because you want to go against the grain because your mom been telling you what you do for a thousand months, okay? Since you've been here, your mom been making decisions for you or telling you or having this major input in your, input in your decision, okay? Thing is, you want to play football. When you play football, you want to what? Win, okay? When you want to go to college, you want to go for free, if possible. So the thing is, you have the opportunity to go play football, check, win with Alabama check hey throw in a championship probably because they've been in the last how many how many championships we had three or four ah uh, but you know what all I'm saying you know what and you know check what, but, you but, can go for free but here's the deal that's here's all the I'm deal. saying and you could have made your mama happy okay cool yeah that's, that's a win that's win good. win that's win good. win situation but I can go to, I can go to Alabama saying. and sit on the bench because they have all-star caliber athletes that are there five-star athletes that are there every year he must so be pretty I'm good not, if ESPN at his school I, he can't, can't be trash but still, you still have to go. I mean, even even if you're not, you, hey, you, we bringing you here because you have to look at the long long term. Mm -hmm. Whereas I go to Florida, I might just be a standout guy just because I'm playing every day. Yeah, I mean, I'm playing every day. They need me, and they may be recruiting other people around him, I mean, around as well that's that's going to uh, contribute to Florida's team. And he's saying to himself, you know what? We can make a difference. We could be that next team. Do you plan on going? Mr. Copeland to the NFL, or do you plan on going to the Canadian League? Okay, so if you, you like want to, if you want to go to the NFL, well, you want to get coached by the best. You want to go of, against the best, a lot of and you go there for free. Florida has That's prestige in football. What? There's a, lot, there's a lot of Florida players that have come from Miami, from Florida as well, from Percy Harvin's, uh, uh fucking Tim Tebow. We can keep going. Tim I mean, Tebow. I'm, he he played in the NFL. He played in the NFL. He's a great. He's there's a, a lot great, of guys. He's a great a, color guy. But there's a guys. A lot of guys that played at Alabama that didn't go to the league. Now what? There's a lot of players that went to Alabama and went to in, and they're at the I'm league saying, now, man. making an impact. That's not what necessarily. I'm saying. There's some Alabama guys that didn't make it. That you all I'm saying is in, uh, in, in college. What and I'm I'll say is, this. I'll say this last thing. Line up in the last in the last ten years. How many people from Bama went to the league versus Gators went to the league? That's all I'm saying. We can look it up. Look I it mean, up. And, you know, sometimes sometimes niggas that will go to Alabama don't actually get to play, and they don't make it to the league because they don't get to play. I'm saying, you go to a squad where there's a lot of talent. I, I tell you like this, because right. it's, it's something that works in basketball, too, in college basketball as well. Mm -hmm. Basketball is different. But I'm, it all comes down to playing time, though, at Bas the end of the day. You can't get a look if you right. don't have playing time. Now, but the thing is, if you if you can go to a place where rare. you are a Division One team, right? You get TV looks. Right. And you can still get to play. Mm hmm Chances are playing time, TV time, mm -hmm. usually equals NFL. Usually. I can, okay, let me let me let me let me be devil's advocate right quick. Football is the one sport where you have eleven guys on offense, eleven guys on defense, you have eleven guys on special teams. You have an opportunity for thirty three people. To get a look, and now nah, sometimes and then, some and then of them, actively, some of them, and then you have you, you have recruiters. Special teams, are, some some special team guy play both ways. True, they, yeah. So I said a chance though. You have special team guys only. You do, okay. Yeah. And and it's usually guys that like one don't two, have one or two they, guys. They, are special team, they're not the greatest only. anyway. They're not going to the league if you're only doing special teams. But special teams, teams is only like, not, not not necessarily. Some good some guys actually who are really some. good play. I mean, it's no, 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 only special teams. Charles I'm Woodson saying. played. Uh, Desmond Howard not played only, special teams. Not only they special play, teams. They play special teams. Not and only. Offense, but I'm saying. Not only. Though, but you, you just have, said guys. Only, only guys that. Can't I said play, you play have the opportunity. Teams. There are a lot more opportunity in football for someone to get seen because there's 11 guys on defense and 11 guys on offense and some that only play special teams. That's all I'm saying. So the thing is, there's more opportunity to be seen in football. Second, there, there, there are guys called recruiters. There's guys called they're, 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 they're assistant coaches that their job is to go find somebody that can play one of those three areas in football, in the league. So you have, I'm just saying you have a more opportunity. Now, the difference between football and basketball is one guy 
can change the complexion of an entire basketball team. But in football, the same thing can happen. In college nah, football, nah, yeah, nah, Reggie nah, Bush nah, did nah, it for nah, USC. Nah, 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 Reggie Bush was that guy. No, 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 no. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, it's, I'm it's opportunities to in be... In basketball. The Honey Badger was that guy. One guy, guy <laughs> I mean, one guy can take a team... But, just, but listen to what I'm saying right now. I'm naming... Deep. I'm naming... Honey college, Badger. I'm naming college football players Honey that Badger. became household names. So you you can't make that. I mean, I no, hear, I say, I hear I'm not saying argue. household. I'm saying I'm saying I'm you. moving a team, putting a team on their back, uh, and taking fucking, them deep. Uh, Monte Teo, what, what the fuck was that fucking guy? Come hey. on, man. No, Notre Dame was trash as shit, but he played so fucking well at linebacker that that fucking team was good. Man, Only, oh you, oh you, Monte Teo, mm-hmm. you heard his name all the time because he got catfished. Is, but but prior and to he him did a good job. But he could have got catfished as a trash guy, and motherfuckers Notre didn't know Dame, who he was. Notre Dame, where Teo went, is a story program. But he still was he making was a covered difference. by ESPN. So there's a media they aspect went, to the they household went 12 name. Twelve and one. No, no, no. I mean, they they, they still were they undefeated played. until they got to the championship. They did. What I'm saying is, some of these guys in college football have become household names. Tim Tebow yes. was a fucking household I'm name. I'm Tebowing, and he had thirty fucking touchdowns. Of which probably 15 of them was fucking rushing touchdowns. True. He was doing his thing. What I'm saying True. is if you're Great on leader. TV, he got if some you're on TV, tools. you have enough TV time and you do what you're supposed to do, you become a household name and you will be that guy. Okay. Now, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I don't think the mom was wrong mm-hmm. at all. I think the I mom had every right to get the fuck up. Right. Mom was like, nigga, you know what you, Exactly. Shit, you. I, don't, yes. I don't know what's the what's the what's what's like. What was the top GI Joe to- toy about ten years ago? Or GI Joe's were not cool ten years. Not ago, ten years it? ago, bro. What was hot? Power Rangers. What what the fuck was hot uh, ten years ago? Ten years, ten years, years ago, two thousand seven. Whatever toy was hot in two thousand seven. Right. He may have got. Right. Or maybe we don't know his story. Maybe back then. He was in a car that was getting repoed, and he like, fuck my mama. I don't like her anyway. I'm going. Uh, I'm the defying the odds. I'm going wherever the hell she don't want me to go. There could be a lot more Very bad blood true. in there. However, they did come back and hug each other, so it can't be that bad. And that's why I don't, as, as a parent, because I don't want to, I don't want to shelter, I don't want to choke out my 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 daughter. I want her to be, but I'm going to guide her, right? So the thing is, if you kind of guide, you can't stop a, a a glacier or not a glacier, a uh, a geyser from shooting water out, but you can affect the stream okay you can't stop it from gushing so a a child is going to grow up and do what he wants to do anyway all you can do is try to guide them in the right direction that's all you can do so parents who overbear overbearing parents you're going to eventually push them away so that's all that's that's my tidbit of the day okay anyway yeah i I mean uh i don't know i think I, i think more than anything is a lot of uh a lot of uh, it, it was a it was kind of like a big fuss made out of nothing. I think it was she really she, well, can't she, she, I mean, she, she can't help the way she feels. She can't help the way she feels. Was what it was, but I don't think it warranted. Uh, I don't think it warranted uh, as much mm-hmm. uh, social media coverage. I would say mm-hmm. I, I don't think right. it should have went viral the way it right. did. I think the wrong part of it went viral. The r- part of it that went viral was her reacting emotionally. To what happened? She didn't walk out. She but got like, up, but, it, and but the thing away. was, the there was no viral moment of her coming back to to say, okay, hey, right. We had to search to find the one where she came back and hugged him out. Mm. You know what I mean? So I mean, like I, I think a lot of a lot of people just reacted to her jumping up, being mm-hmm. upset, mm-hmm. and you know, as a mother, she had every right to. You know, feel a certain type of way. Right. Um, some people handle things differently. Yep. I ain't mad at how she handled it. I mean, I mean, it's shit. Hell. Yeah. I, you know, geography is not my best subject, but Alabama and Tennessee, they're in pretty close proximity versus Florida. <laughs> so it might have been another issue where she he's going to be extremely far from mm-hmm. support mm-hmm. system. So, well, I mean, hell, shit. I mean, that's just that's one of the best things to do. That's what he probably wanted. He wanted to be out on his own. He wanted to be 
away from everyone. Maybe he just need that little space. The good thing about a student athlete is you have a built-in support system in the form of your coaches and in the form of allegedly, like, not allegedly, always. not always true. Not, not always. All, and that's true. It's always you know it's true. That's true. But the thing is. Going especially in, going to a, a place where they went four and seven. Going in. They may not even have a great coach there. That's true. But the thing is, if you're a university and your team went four and seven the year before, you're going to be more, you're going to be laser focused in on this season to try and make it better. Not and then, and then normally the way it's built or the way it's, it should be, then, you know, you have a lot more support system around student athletes, especially football, than a, another r- random freshman coming in there. Who got to deal with a, a guidance counselor that has probably twelve hundred freaking students that he's assigned to, versus this guy who has fifty five. Well, I mean, at the same time, we're talking about three, three storied programs. True. I mean, so yeah, I mean, I mean it's, it's not like he chose uh, uh, fucking uh, 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 Florida Atlantic, Maine. Or uh, Miami, Ohio. Right. It wasn't like he went to Wayne State University or something. Not to shit. say there's nothing wrong with that because we had a, a mean, wonderful running back, running back. Miami, there. Ohio actually was uh, fucking good. <laughs> I mean, Roethlisberger <laughs> went there. The Mac, they used to kill the Mac. Yeah, I mean, the time. Mac. But I'm just saying in, in general. Shit, I mean, if I went to the Mac and hooping, I, I'm can, try, I, I would only, only make it to the NIT. But you could only do what you're supposed to do. I mean, it, but it, see, it's different in football. See, there's no NIT. There's no NIT. You go to a bowl game. You go to, yeah, you go, you go to uh Murray's Auto Bowl game, whatever. Well, Mac used to have a lot of uh, respected bowl games. Oh, because they had a lot of respected players that have come out of the Mac. That's, That's cool. what I'm saying. It is because usually because of that bowl game. Anyway, hey, can't blame him on how she reacted. Can't blame him for the choice that he made. Just I wish he would have made the choice solely on football. And I and you didn't. From I what I can tell, did. he didn't. I know he did. Cause I gave you reasons why he could have made it on football. Cause he wanted to play. Yes. And he wanted to be the man. Big. That's big. That's, that's not a team that's, player. That's the hugest. That's the hugest thing you can do. Player, that's the hugest thing you can do for college, college, college football, basketball, I guess, anywhere. The I guess thing you want to shine. You want to shine. shine. You want to shine. Because your ultimate goal is to make it to the league. Make it to the league. And if you can sit back, like I mean, but look know. at who, who. Look, you, you mentioned him. You mentioned him. I, it might not have been an episode. We were talking about him the other day. Uh, what's his name? Jimmy Fredette? Jimmer. Jimmer Fredette? Mm-hmm. Where did he go to school? He went to what? BYU? Yeah. Okay. What, dude, what do you think? He would have made it some... It would have been different if he went to Duke? I'm just saying. If he went to Duke... Duke wasn't looking for him. That's what I'm hey, saying. Hey. Steph Curry... If Steph Curry... What are you doing when he in the league right if now? Steph Curry... If Steph Curry doesn't Davidson. go... Davidson. He went to Davidson. Mm-hmm. If Steph Curry goes to where he's playing alongside another point guard who is an all-star recruit, Steph Curry... Probably doesn't get the same look. Steph Curry goes to Davidson, where he gets to shine and averages over 26 points a game. True. And we hear who the fuck he is. Yeah. I'm just saying. It's a lot of players I that mean, could, could make... And Jimmer Fredette got actually drafted into the league. Jimmer Fredette doesn't get drafted if he's overshadowed by another guard or somewhere somewhere else. He doesn't get as many looks, but the thing is... if he's at a, If he's at a big school where... The guards are on the same level as him. Think about the guards that came out at the same time as him. If he go to that school mm-hmm. where those guards are on the same level as him, Jimmy Fredette doesn't make the league. All I'm saying is he hasn't done that much while he was in the league. If he went to a tougher school, no matter, he got the maybe he would have gotten tougher as he came up. He could have made a more of an impact Nigga in the was NBA. 6'2", a scoring, point, a scoring shooting guard at 6'2". He got drafted. He's slow. He got drafted. Because he can shoot the fucking rock. And what people thought was, all right, well, he can shoot the ball so fucking good. Because we seen this on display. Mm-hmm. You know what? We got to get him a contract. To where is he go there? Uh, to where is he? Who do he come out with? It's a lot of guards he came You know, it's with. funny because. But he goes, he goes to where they, they, at, they, go, they go set him up as a spot up shooter. Right. He, 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 he's, he, not, he's, not, he's not the primary ball handler. He's a, if, if you quack. And you have feathers. You're a duck. Let him be a duck. He's a spot up shooter. He's not. Real quick. Real How quick. He's a spot up shooter. That wasn't his game. That's what they, he's that's a what volume they, shooter. Then and that's and that's his game. See, the thing is, is the league didn't want to play to his game because when you're only a volume shooter, ah, uh, it's more so because then you don't have game. It's size. It's size. It's size. Let's take the same. Let's take the same scenario. 
a little bit deeper, and then I then I won't say anything else about this topic. I'm saying how many uh, players? How many? Give me give, give me a lot of guards. That Let's stick with Curry. That were white. Let's stick with okay. <laughs> okay, well, damn. All right, okay, you threw that wrinkle in. Okay, Jason, JJ Redick. No, no, has an Jason awesome, has an awesome college game, but he became a spot up shooter in the league because that was his strength. <laughs> because they he said, wasn't nigga, a, they said, nigga, you can't bring the ball up over these uh these fast ass. He's guards. not a spot up shooter. He can he you can can't. run off the screens and catch and shoot just that like too. Rip. Just Kyle like Rip was a beast Kyle in Culver. college. But they put that white boy out there to be a spot-up shooter. You can play shooter. defense, and and again, it's he not... He can't play no defense. What are you talking about? Kyle Corbin can't play defense. Kyle... What? I, in, even, in, the even, in the show. In the show. In the, hey, hey. He said Kyle Corbin played in the he, show. It's a wrap. Hey, put in the comments, if you've seen Kyle Corbin play defense, he can play defense. You about to get killed, bro. Kill me in the comments if I have to. Shout out to... Shout, salute to Mr. Teron Lou because he even said... He even said that he was a much better defender than he thought. So please, please kill, kill, kill him in kill? the comments. Kill him in the comments. Kill me in the comments if you think he's a terrible defender. Please. He's a much better defender than he gets the credit for. Please kill him in the comments. Please, because Fine. you said Kyle Corbett can play deep. He can play defense. Hey man, we out.